Hi, this is Julia Loves Beginning with a message called Spirit Spatula. In order for you to judge anything, it has to be separate and independent from you. This means that any judgment you make from the perspective of being a separate one has to be based upon a fiction. When you are showing up as a fictional character in a fictional story, where is the solid ground? What can be relied upon? What is real? Ego sends thoughts about the reli reality and reliability of all of the separate components of the fictional story. The only thing reliable about ego is that it lies. And this is not a criticism. It is a simple observation of fact. You set up the ego to lie to you, and lie it does. So when you're showing up as a fictional character in a fictional story with a steady stream of lies coming to you in the form of thoughts, what do you do? There is one thing that is not fictional, and you can allow your mind to be trained to distinguish between the many fictional things and the one real thing. You can allow your mind to be trained to rely upon the one real thing that comes to you as a stream of thoughts. You can allow your mind to be trained to rely upon the real without exception in every situation. You see, what the character does in the drama is not very important. What the being playing the character allows in the mind is very important. Part of your mind training is to shift the focus, to shift what you are looking at and assigning importance to. Hatred is the device within the illusion that keeps the many things showing up as distinct and separate from one another, and therefore in competition with one another. You can only experience hatred within an illusion, because hatred isn't real. It's very important to see the full extent of hatred, to see that it is what sets up the situation where one blade of grass appears separate from another blade of grass to see that it is the foundation of the experience of time and space. Spirit can use everything you made, so spirit can use all of the separate and distinct elements that seem to be here. Spirit can use every blade of grass in love service. Spirit only requires permission. You don't have to clean up or destroy that which was built on a foundation of hatred, fear, and strife. You only have to give it over, all of it, without exception. Leave no element that you as the character would control or rule over. Give all of it over to the beingness you have always been to use on behalf of the awakening of all. What spirit offers you is a spatula still wielded by spirit. You allow spirit as far down into the relative positive and negative as you are willing to go. As you allow spirit spatula underneath wrong-minded perception, spirit flings your thoughts and beliefs into the air because you let go of them. The ones you don't need disappear, and the ones you do need are purified. What comes back down are the thoughts that will assist you in your function. Remember, all of time and space is made of thought. The only thing spirit needs to supply is thought. How deep into the stack of perceptions are you willing to allow spirit's spatula to go? As you recognize the effect of allowing spirit to order and purify your thoughts, faith and trust builds. Spirit's effect is happiness. You become willing to give everything over to spirit, to hold nothing back. You stop asking for happiness or for things from a world. You understand that happiness comes from giving perception over to spirit. Is there any reason not to allow spirit to go all the way to the root of this perceived experience? In another metaphor, it's as if you hired spirit to clean out one closet in your house. Having seen the magnificent, magnificent work spirit does, there is no reason not to allow spirit to do the same to all of your closets. This is why awakening is inevitable. See spirit flinging wrong-minded perception up into the air because you allowed it. What comes back down? It is always that which brings peace and willingness to go deeper. Look upon the guarantee of your happiness, the guarantee of the washing away of strife, and be glad. Relax into that relief and let yourself be carried. It is our delight to take whatever you give us and fling it skyward. We know the return always comes in a gentle reign of peace. Thanks for listening.